How's it going, everybody? Josh KI6NAZ. Welcome to a very special belated Valentine's Day special. My wife bought me some ham radio gear. Let's see what she has in store for me. Well, let me explain a little backstory here. Valentine's Day, Leia got sick, food poisoning sick. She was completely out of commission. I gave her my gift, but I wanted to save the gift she got for me so that we could do it on camera. And Leia is here. She's all mic'd up. How are you, Leia? I'm good. Very good. It's really a gift that was highly requested. Yes. Oh, wait. What, you got me? No, you didn't request it. Oh, okay. Yes. The <laughs> HRCC community requested uh -huh. after the Christmas video. Yes. We did a Christmas said, video, yeah. More AliExpress, and I am here to deliver. So I guess we're, we're doing this for the sake of you. Uh, some of these products we have found, we've done two of these videos now, this will be the third. Some of these uh, are not the greatest of, uh, of quality of pieces of gear. Well, you don't know. You don't know. Well, we'll see, you've got four boxes here, so right. let's start tearing into it. Is there a particular order I should go into this? I have no idea. Okay, all right, let's. Start with this small one. Uh, I'm using my Tactical Keychains Tuck 2 here. Tactical. Tactical Keychains. Gotta make sure you click it so it does the little locky thing. What could it be? This is a power supply, and this is a little. So this is oh, the, the, the knobs come off. How no handy. Yeah, how handy. That, this is exactly what you want. Uh, so this is a, it doesn't say what the voltage is or does it? 12 volt, 10 amp power supply. So this will get you, uh, you know, like the 7300 needs like 30 ish amps to do 100 watts. So this will, is putting out less amperage than that, but it is 12 volts. It is adjustable. Oh, and it's the on off click. Okay. So power supply, that makes me think. Maybe we've got some uh, radio gear here for sure this this time. Remember the last video we did, all of the radio purchases that were for like ham radio type stuff got canceled. So let, let's grab this one. All right, so smaller box. I guess we'll go with the small ones. I'm assuming a radio would come in a slightly bigger box? I don't know. These boxes are super cheesy too. They're like really cheap cardboard. Okay. I guess I could have repackaged them, but really I wanted people to see what it comes in. This has a fan. It has a coax in and out. This could be an amplifier. So you can see it's got coax in and out. There's a handy switch. The edges are sharp. That's just always yeah, really it looks good. Yeah, like it's so well milled. Uh, yeah. Power is just the twin leads there. So what is this? This is a, oh. Directions in Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> you look so happy about it. This is just a part of my big plot to get you to take classes at the Chinese school. But I don't fully understand. This is a UHF 15 watt amplifier. Okay. So you do read Chinese. Well, it says, it says UHF oh. in 15 watts <laughs> and it talks about four point, it talks about 2.2 to five watts looks like the input. That's probably how you adjust the drive. Uh, this is all in Chinese, uh, so we'll put this to the side. I'm, I'm surprised UHF, so now, I'm, now I have no idea what we're looking at here. Nothing but excitement. Yeah. Okay, this one is more of a bag. I thought that for them to do e-packet, it had to go in a bag. Huh? I thought that for them to use e-packet shipping, which is the inexpensive shipping, where they can ship to the U.S., Mm -hmm. Companies in China can ship to the U.S. cheaper than you can ship within the U.S. Mm. But the rule, I think, is that it has to go in a plastic bag. Oh, this. I'm so excited looking. This is an antenna. Wow, that's chunky. 
I think I said on the podcast that there were no antennas, but there is an antenna. <laughs> this is a, uh, what is that Greek symbol? That's the a Delta. Tr- Delta. A Bravo Delta 5 Elo uh, India Kilo DIY and fed multi- multi-band antenna. And uh, yeah, so there's a coax line there. There's a hanging uh, eye hole. No ground connection. And then it's an appreciable amount of wire. And the wires. Is that important? The ground connection? Yeah, 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 I'm for kidding. sure. <laughs> for, well, you don't absolutely need it for an end fed, but it's, it, it can be nice to do. The wire's not bad. Um, looks like maybe 16 gauge wire. And that thing is chunky. It's like a piece of silicon board that's not etched or something but it's thick so yeah you would you know run this up in a tree and hang it up and and we'll test it out and see and it comes with cordage handy yeah diy diy <laughs> so i'm guessing i i guess i i picked i saved the best for last i didn't know um this looks like a radio box, though, to me. I don't know if you if you feel the same way. Dun, 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 dun. They just use so much tape on these, don't they? So it doesn't open in the... The in extreme the handling that they use when they're shipping. Okay. In the literal boat that it comes over in. The literal boat. Okay. Okay, okay. Very exciting. It's bigger than I thought it would be. I kind of thought small. You I thought it was going to be a handy talkie? <laughs> I pictured in my hand it would be small. There is. So we're, we're, we're getting closer to radio land. That's funny. This actually says ICOM on it. It's the ICOM <gasps> logo. Straight up the ICOM logo. I bought a counterfeit? L- ICOM Electric HM36 Condenser Microphone. I bought a counterfeit. That's not good. It wow. did not. It did not say anything about being no. an ICOM at all. I, w- I would not have bought it if it. It is obviously not an ICOM. So here, whoa, this thing smells. Better or worse than Oh, that, no, bad. It smells bad. That uh, computer you bought that stank of cigars. Is I guess it, it depends on... ozone? Well, I'm the right man for the job if it does. <laughs> okay, so this is a HF transceiver, all mode, KN990B, made in China. Uh, there, this is interesting. Okay. I'm so excited so, for you. So, so new discoveries. <laughs> so this has a, a, a screen. Uh, obviously, it has a screen and, and a series of buttons and controls down here. I hope it has a waterfall. Interesting. <laughs> it, it might. It might. Interestingly enough, though, looking at the ports on the back. Okay, so you've got your antenna ports. Uh, you have RCA jacks for the AF in, AF out, and PTT in. There is an accessory port. There is a data port, a USB-B data port, and then two USB ports next to it, USB-A ports. Then there's an ATU for putting a tuner tuner connection, a, a, an external speaker, and a key port on it. There Man, are so many ports. Kickstands on the side of it, so it sits up like that. that. It's real compact too. I mean, it's it's, maybe a... it's not that compact. <laughs> it's not that compact. How heavy is it? Maybe three pounds. How does it compare to maybe a G90 or? Uh, about probably similar to the G90. The case just looks big. It, it's it's probably not that much radio inside of it, but I don't know. It's kind of interesting, this whole thing. I'm actually going to plug this in. We'll just try this live. Do it live. Okay. 12 and a half volts in. Sweet power supply. Sweet power supply, <laughs> bro. It surprised me to know that the radios don't come with power supplies. 
Right, because it's all DC. You have to buy them separately. Yeah. You can see I've got it cranked all the way up. It's 12.5. About as high as I can get that, sorry. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that looks like a shirt I designed. <laughs> what? Look at that display. Can I, how do I zoom? Just. How do I zoom in? Just like that. Thanks. Tappy tappy. There we go. That is crazy. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> you have so many things to discover. This is not bad. I mean, it's 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 the screen's cool. It's a KN990HF all mode transceiver. All modes. All modes. I don't know what half of these buttons do. Okay. Did yeah. it not come with instructions? It no, was just there's a... no instructions. Wow, there's... amazing. <laughs> Mystery radio. <laughs> okay. Oh, interesting. All right. Not bad, Leah. This is... I mean, it's it's a little big, right? You wouldn't. Oh, you know what? Well, well, I will check this before before we wrap this up here. Let me figure out how to do it, though. I'm curious what the output power is. Okay, maybe I do. It says CPU 33%. So this has a computer in it. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm sure there's probably instructions online. I'm sure that other people probably actually use this radio too. From the looks of it, though. It, um, I find the USB interesting on the back, so it's possible that this is, uh, you know, connects to a computer, probably has an internal sound card, so you can do digital modes with it. I'm guessing it's maybe 10 watts output. That's just a guess. Uh, I will annotate this as we're going along as I'll figure stuff out. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day to me. Happy Valentine's thank, Day to you. Thank you so much, Leia. I appreciate that. It was, it was worth the wait. I had to wait a, a week or so to, to open this, but this is cool. A lot of this I stuff... Just replace your entire base station. Oh, that's yeah. it. Just throw, throw it all out. <laughs> I think this might not Toss work, though. Else. This might not work for us. I think this might not work. Oh. Because this is UHF. It says UHF. Gotcha. So, I mean, I'll test that, too. That would be fun if this was, like, a 50... 50 watts out of this would be impressive. This is probably more like a 20 watt, 30 watt amp, something like that. So I'm guessing then this is probably 5 or 10 watts. This is probably QRP. So, cool. All right. Well, we'll we'll give this a shot. Maybe this deserves a review in the future. Don't know what you paid for any of this. Is that the, you usually don't. We'll post links if we can. If we can find them, we'll post links to it so you can check it out. Yeah. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go into the uh two christmas videos and this video mm -hmm. uh pull up my order history okay and just link directly to okay. the that products would be good. yeah um and i'll i'll even know what i bought it for at the time if i can find that mm -hmm. in the records sure uh, yeah this deserves a, a a little bit more time to to give you a review on it but it it looks like it's a affect it well it looks like an hf radio so it probably has a lot of um different features it has a screen i can't say much more about that but maybe i'll splice in some parts of the video here and explain it that way well you know i couldn't just end the video without showing you the kn 990 so let's flip her over to the workbench and take a look all right so right up top <laughs> there are these buttons right they change based off of the menu that's on the screen the waterfall is is effective if you want to change the kilohertz sweep, you click the power button and a little arrow comes up and then you can adjust it to allow you to scroll through the band a little bit faster. Uh, there, there's this odd thing where it kind of like floats between the two bands. This is an A and a B channel radio, which is kind of funny. So there's a little bit of a jank to this radio. It sounds okay. Click the display button, you get a bigger waterfall. Let's find a signal here. service on it, so it's essentially brand new. It's uh, 
pretty pristine, actually. So anyway, but if he wants to uh, reach out, uh, he's more than welcome to do that. I kind of, uh, I kind of decided if uh, if I couldn't get my price, I'd probably just um, keep it. You know. There's a bit of a robot-y characteristic to the audio that comes off of this, which is not horrible, but let me go through the display here. This is the voice scope. There's a filter uh, control, a decode if you're on uh, digital, memory, but, uh, a recorder, anyway, okay, well, very good. and your settings. So there'll be a video on this in the future. We'll test its power output, what its power draw is. I'll show you around the screen here because again, it's it's this button control system, um, which works okay, but you kind of have to remember what you're doing. You have band control. All kinds of different options there. It, it seems okay. It's not priced to sell though. This is not cheap, but there is something that this does that no other radio I know does, and I'll show that to you right now. Back to settings. Go ahead and uh, scroll down. Oh, that's right. Oh, my God, you gotta use these, that's right. Go to NES, and then it says NES games. Hmm, let's go ahead and do Super Mario. Yeah, this thing plays Super Mario Brothers. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to think about this. I, I really don't. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these type of videos. We'll, I'll let you know how this performs and what I think about it and all that fun stuff uh, in future videos or something like that. Leia, thank you again for doing this, you know, these type of videos. I know the people, they really like it. They really like to... to, to... <laughs> they like to see you suffer mm -hmm. through receiving mm -hmm. bad radio gear. Right, yeah. Everybody likes that. Um, and now we just got another radio, uh, which you always like to, having more radios, right? I mean, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. You can give Leia a thumbs up, too. The subscribe button is there. Click it, because I do live stream every Saturday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Until I talk to you again, see ya. Problem with this thing is now I've got to go find my old Nintendo ROMs that, you know, of course... I legally own all the cartridges for.